Oh, this should be interesting. Now, this should be interesting. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. You know the deal. You know the drill. It's your boy Khalil. Look, we have another requested video, all right? Another requested video. This one is kind of more of like a story time, all right? You know how we kind of we kind of dig those over here. We enjoy personality. We enjoy stories. We enjoy all of that. It does not have to be music for you to request it. So I suggest you sub up to the second channel if you want to catch up on videos similar to this that have nothing to do with music, but you know what I'm saying? You still want to kick it with your boy. Now, before we get into this requested video, can we give a big shout out to the featured song of the week? Kuja to chase in a smoke. Kuja to chase in a smoke. Kama si tembe ni shembe marando na spoke. Kuja to chase in a smoke. Niggas, they wanted the smoke. I loaded the clip. Yeah. Okay, that was the smoke remix. All right. If you're digging that, go run the numbers up. That's Double Trouble featuring my boy Stunna T and G. All right. If you yourself are an artist, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you sing. I don't care if you rap, whatever it is, and you want to promote a song, <clears throat> hit your boy up. We can make that the featured song of the week. You don't have to have a million subs. You don't have to have a million views. You don't got to have any of that, all right? We want to support artists over here, all right? That is what we are here to do. That is what we're going to continue to do, all right? So if that sounds interesting to you, hit your boy up. Speaking of love and support, though, big, big, big shout out to everybody that has donated to this channel and 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 just in support of your boy and what we doing over here um like i said everything is free free 99 requests are free comments like subs all of that is free all right you can enjoy this content for free so it's greatly appreciated when people decide to take things a step further and just show love to your boy so big shout out to big brian you know what i'm saying kim alex pitt jamie frankie dean tasha michael rachel edwin steve Bro, look, listen, just because I said this name once doesn't mean that these people only donated once. We got some people on here that have donated multiple times, bro. I, what? All right. So, look, we're going to continue to keep showing the love. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Now, let's get into this video because it's already like 15 minutes in itself. All right. So, I ain't going to hold y'all for too long. Y'all are very busy, busy people. So, let's go. What's going on guys? I'm Adam Calhoun. Today I'm going to tell you the story of me and church, oh, my shit. good friend Ryan Upchurch. There's a lot of people that think they know or like to tell their own stories. They have no idea. Um, but I don't think I've ever told this publicly, you, you know. Talk your talk, big happened. dog. So most of you should know, um, obviously I worked in the trades my whole life. I was in the union. And uh, one day I made a viral video. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just here to see Sarah. What do you mean, bro? I'm not your bro. And then I made a whole bunch more. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just putting out content and mm -hmm. because people liked it. So I just kept doing it. And I did that for about a year. One day, someone was like, oh, man, Ryan Upchurch just posted this meme that you made. And I was like, "Who? I didn't know who Ryan Upchurch was. You know, I'm just... I'm just a regular guy working. I was never on the internet or nothing like that. I'm like, who the hell is Ryan Upchurch? So I go in into his page. And I'm like, hey, man, that's my meme. You can tag me in that shit. And to which uh, there was no response because there was probably like 50,000 comments. So you probably never even see my comment. But some time went on and people were like, you and Ryan Upchurch should work together, whatever, whatever. And then one day he messaged me. I actually saw it and we got on the phone and we talked with each other. And um, the next thing you know, I fly down to Nashville. Church came and picked me up. What? And I can't remember which truck he's had. He's had, you know, Ryan was his car. He's got a lot. Um, we went to his his old trailer that he used to live in, and he had a studio uh, right on the side of the trailer. And you know, we I just went down there to make a funny video with him. And actually, the first funny video that we ever made together was the "Hello, comrades." What's up, comrades? What the fuck? What's up, what? comrades? Yo, I'm Lord Virgin Pecker. So when I was down there, I'm the, this Lord was five Virgin years Pecker. ago. Me and Church have been friends <laughs> hey, for five yo. years. So for all those people that are always in the comments like, where's Ryan? Where's Church? Are you guys still friends? Yo, Bro, man. we lit. We have lives. We have different lives. We're, we're busy. We're running different businesses. And obviously our music right. careers and stuff right. like that. Um, right. Me and Ryan Upchurch have been friends for five years and, and are still friends to this day. Yeah, uh, I consider him my brother and I, I would do anything for him. If you ever needed me, I'm always going to be there. I love you, bro. So anyways, Aww, this is the part. Oh, you uh, got we, we got done filming the, the, the Antifa, the comrades video, and he's in his studio. And at that point in time, he was actually writing and recording 
the black on black Johnny Cash. Black on black Johnny Cash. And I'm sitting there, you know, on the couch, and I'm I'm watching what he's doing and stuff. And I he he's got the beat playing. He's you know he's writing in his phone, and I'm writing on paper. And he looks over and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And I was like, "Ah, I'm just writing lyrics now." And he's like, "You rap?" And I'm like, "No, I mean, I used to back in the day, you know." And he's like, "No way!" And he's like, "Let me hear it." So I, I jump up and, and and you know, we're just in the studio and I put I put the headphones on and I rap what I wrote. And he's like, "That's crazy!" Like, whoa, you know. Little did he know, and maybe little do you guys know. Back in the day, you gotta understand something. When I was 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, 22, you know, for many years I slept on people's couches. I was homeless. Damn, yeah, you bro, know, I yeah. lived in like a trap house. I was yeah, I was recording yeah. rap shit. Back in the day, you're talking about 99, 2000, 2001. You couldn't just go in the suburbs and go into a studio some white dude with a studio that wasn't a thing you had to go to the west side of chicago south side yeah, of chicago you, go you had to be hood, out and doing these battles and on street corners yep. and in in these clubs these dingy clubs and and you know you're trying to earn respect because you're just you're a white dude in, in basically a, a, a black dude's game, right? I mean, it's 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 rap. It's predominantly it's black. So before yeah, all yeah. the funny videos right, right, and right. all this stuff that I've done uh, on social media, when I was a young man, I mean, that's what I thought I was going to be in life was I thought I was going to be a rapper. But here is the is the gold right here. I saw Ryan Upchurch in the studio recording a song, and he was rapping. And he was rapping about like some white boy shit. He didn't need acceptance for from like the black culture. He was able to just to rap about some white shit. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like my whole life, I had to get acceptance from the urban community. And I see this black white community. dude in a trailer in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, rapping about just some some shit that like I'm like, wait, you're telling me that white boys can just rap about some shit that we do yeah. and people are listening to this, this yeah. sign, let's go sign me up you know what i mean so anyways i go home and i and i think about this and i'm like this is let me see you know because i'm a rapper i can do this so you know i i wrote some some songs and i showed you know one of one of the guys and they're like dude you gotta put this out i i, I held off for a little bit anyways me and ryan still remain friends and we i went back to tennessee and we did the the video that that went crazy and everybody loves the the whoa, Vicky. A straightener. Or a straightener. A straightener. A straightener. And then I actually showed <laughs> Ryan <laughs> one of the songs that I had, oh, had recorded. He was nerves, like, bro, bro, like this is like, let's you gotta put this out. So I recorded my first album, Americal. Uh Church was on the first single, Die Tonight. And that song went crazy. Thank you to you guys, and thanks for church. You know, for oh shit, we just yo get the like that. fuck out of here. I keep telling y'all the universe is crazy. That was the exact music video we reacted to before. I didn't know it was gonna be the, man. Die tonight. I mean, this was a massive video. Yo, I didn't know. Go check time. out that it was video. A massive yeah. song. I didn't know it at the time, but you guys know what it is. I might die tonight, but if I do, I'm gonna be okay. okay. I'm gonna be okay. Just, just think about this. I, know, I was a young man I at 20. I said. Shit. Fast forward 15, 16 years, and I see a young man, Ryan Upchurch, doing the shit that I loved, but I didn't have any love for it anymore because it was like, I, that's never gonna happen for me. And I see this kid. He was young at the time. He he's still young, but he was really young at the time. He's only he was only like twenty five. I see him rapping. He gives no fucks. He's he's doing his thing, and and I'm like, it, it sparked a whole new thing, a whole new uh, chapter in my life. And I I owe me getting back into music and rap and and shit like that to, to Ryan. Damn. You know? and, and that's what? this is shit that people don't do. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't. Give hold up, hold respect. up, hold up. So Ryan, dog, so wait, 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 wait. You're trying to tell me that had it not been for Up Church, we may have not gotten Calhoun on the level in, in the degree that we're getting him right now. Whoa. The motherfuckers that really got him back or, or helped him or, or whatever. So Up Church is for real. Up Church is for he he's really authentic like that. Like he for real out. This isn't the first story I've heard with Up Church helping like a motherfucker out and like cut for real. That's and, dope. And, uh, shit. and then you hear these Shout people like, Church, "Oh, if I had Adam's platform, I'd be as big as him." No, you wouldn't. Who gave me this platform? I had this platform. I built this platform. You know what I'm saying? And 
or oh, if I had a feature from church, I'd be, I'd be, you no, know, you church has done features with all these country rappers, and where are they at? I don't, they're where are they? You know, um, heavy duty. I had uh, the, the drive, I remember that the, the ability to rap, the, 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 the just the work the ethic to go crazy, and I was always chasing church down to be honest like i know he did so many albums in so many years so every year i'm pumping out as much music as i can and you know at first when it's when when i first started doing music you know everyone's comparing like church to me me uh, me to church and, and and like talking shit and it took years to finally like get out of that shadow and be like you, you know it was it, then it was it was church and adam you know like these are the guys you know and a lot of you guys, you call what we do country rap. And I get it. It's cool. But I feel sometimes like it's selling us short. Church is a yeah. rapper. I'm a rapper. Yeah. Like, yeah, we can yeah. hang with any, like. Once you throw country in front of it, bro, I'm sorry. People like me, we're not going to listen to it, bro. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> They're just because you threw country in front of it. And because you they look the way they look, bro, it's not going to, it's, it's. You're gonna miss some audiences. You're gonna miss it. Um, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But that's why over at this channel, bro, we're trying to we're trying to knock that down. Like we're trying to move that up out the way and trying to do some new shit. What's going on, guys? I'm Adam Calhoun. What the fuck? Like mainstream rappers. I feel like Church came in the game and changed independent rap history, and you know made this big like rush of all these people being like, oh, this is country rap, country rap. And then I came in the game and was like, you know, this shit's whack. A lot of these dudes are trying to do what Ryan was doing because they're fans. And I'm like, I'm a rapper. I'm going to make these dudes have to rap. And then now you don't see none of these dudes rapping no more. You got to, you can't just be some guy that is a fan and, and thinks you can rap. You didn't put in 20 years or all these years right, behind right, Mike and, and, right. in and, and living in uh, couches and in cars. Like you got to be able to rap. So country rap, there's dudes, there's rap, John Brodnax, you know, like I say, Church got me Brodnax. started and, and I love him forever for that and always have his back. And, oh, and when I got plugged in and I kept doing my thing, I've given you people like Brodnax, you know, that dude is an animal. He's, he's one of the best rappers. Off the leash. Period. And um, I've helped a lot of people out in their careers. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always there. I always show up for... For the good guys, you know what I'm saying? I do this for the good guys. And everyone's always asking me about advice, like, oh, how do I get started in music? Start and, and keep doing it and grind. I mean, you have to understand, you, you have to be obsessed. You have to be able, willing to lose comfortability, like sleeping on the floor, on a couch, in a car. You have to be able to lose your family. Yeah. I, I didn't see yeah. my son when I was a young guy, like in my 20s, for a couple of years. And I, was, I wasn't the best dad yeah. ever. I, I, I lost contact with friends and family and... I mean, I, you have to be uh, willing no, to bro, lose I know, bro. everything. Yo, Adam, chill, and bro, And if you're chill. that guy and you can go that far, and, and this takes years. I was a young dude, 20 years old. Are you this talking to me, Adam, me bro? You what? 20 what? years bro, later. What? You talking Understand to me, bro? what I'm saying. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's my advice. You got to be an absolute Shit. animal. Anyway, I ended up recording a whole bunch of albums, and it came time for me and Church to do an album together. It just, we we're like, yo, let's do this. And that was Hooligan. Um, and I went down to Tennessee to too. and it took us, I think like 10 days and we just, we went at it and, and, and never stopped, you know, every day in the studio and pushing each other and shit like that. And, you know, we're riding around in his Lamborghini, he's drinking chocolate milk and, you know, we're stopping at gas stations, people coming up and it was just a really great experience. And, um, it was super dope. You know, it's something that's timeless that hopefully lives on forever. I remember laughing at that shit. I was like, bro, I didn't stop he is there. smashing I his head going, in the wall. More albums, more albums. <laughs> Through the whole time, that's my that's my boy. That's my guy. Out of all the guys you meet in this industry and in social media and music, it's it's most of them are <laughs> trash people, I can believe that. garbage human I can believe beings. That shit, and bro. I can you know, that. me and Ryan have been friends and still friends to this day. You know, there's lots of times you hey, guys bro. don't even know. Hey, bro, I'm not even finna hold you. I don't mean to keep pausing it, but just to add on to what he's saying, that's what I kind of, I, I was kind of thinking like that about Upchurch. I was like, look, a lot of people in the industry, a lot of people that do this music shit, they turn out to look like they cool. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they come out real, you know what I'm saying? Like real cool people, but once you meet them, they like, they're just straight up assholes. 
I, I, th I didn't know if that was going to be up church. I don't know. I never met none of these people, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So to hear the testimonies that a lot of these artists have with that worked alongside the man. Gotta say. Gotta sitting out say. At, by his bonfire and, uh, you know, just sitting there. You know what I mean? He's, he's been around my son and, and, and. Yeah. You don't normally just bring anybody really around you. Good kid. relationship. And, uh, you never see me around people that, that are shit people. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'd like to say the same for Ryan. Wow. It's actually wow. very cool. I, I, I was there with him when he had the trailer. You know right? the story getting and, good and when I they cross their legs? Look, look, homie cross his legs. You know the story getting good when My a nigga crosses and, his legs, and, bro. And <laughs> it's been a really good relationship. And uh, you never see me around people that, that are shit people. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'd like to say the same for Ryan. It's mm. actually very cool. I, I, I was there with him when he had the trailer, right? And, and I lived in this little shitty duplex. And then I remember when you got the house up on that hill. Ryan, I, what, what the, the house, the, you know what I'm talking about. I love that house. It was a beautiful house. Um, you know, and then I had a I had a, a townhouse. And then, you know, he got Ghost Ranch. And, you know, now I'm in this house. Yeah, I keep hearing like, about Ghost Ranch. You watch Ryan. our careers and you watch our life and... He's became a you know a young man. I became an older man. <laughs> I got grays now, and you know what I mean. Taman's twenty two, and for everyone who's always asking, and they don't know the real the How real deal. Is, uh, he kept Adam. that real quick. Like How this is music Adam? shit and and all this social media shit. It really changed my life, my son's life, my family's life. Wow. You know I mean? It's a picture of me and Taman, which one of my favorite pictures. But this. This most legendary picture in my mind, in my opinion. Hey, wait, 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 that's, I can name them now. What? And that's a whole other story. Jelly Roll, Struggle story. Jennings. I mean, those guys have helped. You know, um, those are guys that I call when I I need an outside opinion mm. or advice, knowledge. Jelly Roll is is crazy with that. That's a guy that I can ask anything. He's always there. And then of course you got Struggle Jennings, who's always like, Bubba, come on, man. Bubba. Amazing, <laughs> you know, struggles always very positive, but those are the guys, boys. man. Struggle Jennings, Jelly Roll, and Upchurch, and Demon Jones, of course. I call him Leonard, my, the, the, the guy in my life who was my uh father figure, was my grandfather, and he was the best man that I knew. And uh, actually, this is me and hey, Demon Jones. I call him Leonard, and he'll actually answer to it, like when we're on. When we were on our tour three years ago or whatever, and you know we're in the so venue and, catch up and I'm saying people. demon, and he can't oh. hear me because everyone's you know saying his name or my name. I'm like, hey, Leonard. He'll look across the room. You know, that's the that's a guy that's filled with knowledge. He's a good man. He's a family man. He's a is you know he's all about his kids and is just what I'm telling you guys right shit. now is shit, shit that's behind shit. the scenes that you never see. Obviously, I can't tell you everything. I can only tell you, you know. A lot of questions are always asked and stuff like that. But when I came in and, and started and until now where it is now, um, the guys that I've mentioned have grown this independent scene and this, you guys call it country rap, and that's cool. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you about it, but we've grown that scene mm. to, to where it is today. And I'm just grateful to be a part of it. And, and, and those are, those are my friends. Those are my brothers, you know, and everyone's, a lot of people say, you know, church is number one and I'm number two and and, and I'm okay with that. You know, I'm more like, uh, you know, even church will call me like the 50, 50 cent of this shit. And, and that's how I feel too. So <laughs> and church is just kind of a different, it's a different artist. He could do whatever. He could do country, do rock. He can he could do that old school, like like the oldies. He could do rap. That's the thing that I love that's most about this a lot music about that this we world. do. I think that's why you call it country rap. Versatile because I have shit. songs like uh, Clean Money, you know, that's not a rap song. That's just a... A badass song. I mean, you guys know it. Not sure what y'all doing. I'm putting hard work in. Yeah, this Somebody music has it. elements of country, elements of rock, elements of rap. And I always pay homage to the rap shit, you know. My rap knowledge goes 
deep. I mean, I, I grew up listening to Big L. I'm not talking LL Cool J. You know, I grew up listening to Big L, Goody Mob, you know, Old uh, Bad Wu-Tang, Jay-Z, The Blueprint 2. was the best, yeah, one of the best albums. I think Yo, he I is rap. saying some how shit. I rap. And that's what another thing you guys notice. I'm very heavy East Coast. How I rap is very heavy old school yeah, East Coast. Yeah. You know, Gritty even Dipset, shit. that shit was banging. Camera, yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. Outkast, a lot of Southern oh, rappers. Man, I mean, yes, there's just different eras. Yes, and, and I've, I've been around them all. And, and as far as music in my ear, I just, I love it. But anyways, that's the story of me and my good friend, Ryan Upchurch. That's my brother. For everyone that's asking, good, there's your video. I love you guys. Good story, bro. Good motherfucking story, bro. Yo, shout out to Upchurch, bro. I can't, I, yo, it seems like every time I hear somebody talk about the dude, if 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 it's not on some beef shit, like, you know, rap, lyrical, miracle, bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But just speaking on the man himself, people are actually championing him. The people's fucking shit. Yo, <laughs> it just all makes sense the more you fucking find out. Yo, big shout out to the featured song of the week. Big shout out to everybody that has donated to this channel. Y'all, I love y'all. Keep y'all mental health intact. Big shout out to Adam. Big shout out to Up Church. Go watch the video that we just watched. Die tonight. Go check it out, man. I'm gone.